Hi everyone, I am Prem Mohalik, a faculty member in engineering discipline. In this video, I will introduce background to artificial intelligence and decision making. One thing should be clear at this point is that artificial intelligence and decision making come together. Artificial intelligence is abbreviated as AI. Artificial intelligence or AI is an algorithm that facilitates decision making. In other words, decision making plays vital role in AI. When we say decision making, there are in fact two fundamental theories behind this. Only two theories, nothing more, nothing less. If we would like to make decision, we need data. Why? Because at any point of time we make decision, we do it based on some form of inputs. The origin of any inputs can be considered as data. Now, data can be available like this or like this. The first form of available data is called time series data or temporal form of data and the second form of available data is called special form of data. What it means is that data can be seen in two ways, time series way or in other words temporal way like this and time parallel way or in other words special way like this. Using the data the AI algorithm can make a decision. That is, a decision is made based on the available data which has two forms, series form and special form. So, it is obvious that um, and also sounds logical that we should have two fundamental theories of decision making as pointed earlier. That's it. When a decision is made using time series form of data, we say time series analysis based decision making. When a decision is made based on special form of data, we say special analysis based decision making. It is up to the decision maker to decide which type of data to use for making a decision. In fact, there is a layer in between the decision line and available data. Data is passed through the layer which is called refinement layer. The re refinement layer is simply a formatting procedure that data are then combined to form information. Subsequently, knowledge is built from the information. Using the knowledge, a decision is made. It is obvious that more data will be provide, will be able to provide more information, which in turn will establish more knowledge. Thus, there is a direct relationship between knowledge and data. Let us give a fundamental uh, mathematical touch to decision making. Let us consider a time series data. Mathematically, the decision making algorithm utilizing time series data is interpreted like this. Uh, this mathematical equation is very easy to understand. You can understand this equation as having two ends, the right hand end and the left hand end. And in between these ends, there is an equal sign. At one end, we have yt and at other end, we have a series of terms. These terms when added together constitute knowledge. Let me summarize. The right hand end is simply the knowledge. Each term is a piece of information. Each piece of information has data. For example, yt minus n is a piece of data. It is multiplied with refining element alpha n to provide this information term. All the information terms are then gathered together in order to build knowledge. Once you come up with the knowledge, which can be the entire right hand or a part of the right hand, you can use them to make a decision, which is equal sign here. The equal sign is actually decision maker, which produces output, which is yt in this case. This is how decision making works. It is very simple and easy to understand. Similarly, in special domain, we have the same situation. As you can see that the data here are not available in time series way, but available in time parallel way. In this case also, the algorithm makes decision using knowledge, which is obtained from the information that is built using time parallel data or special data. Artificial intelligence layer comes in between knowledge and decision line. Remember, few seconds ago, I said 
once you come up with knowledge entities you can use them to make a decision this means that one or a set of knowledge indices are used to make a decision in reality knowledge entities are heuristically either combined associated compared formulated or in other words knowledge entities are heuristically put together to make a decision this heuristic process is actually the main task of decision making and it can be achieved through several implementation scenarios all these scenarios can be defined under one banner called artificial intelligence or ai the ai layer is implemented or alternatively made available as a part of decision making algorithm by some form of computation what is popularly known as soft computing there is a little difference between ai and soft computing ai is an implementation scenario whereas soft computing is just a way of handling the ai implementation scenario using computer software tools hardware and software together now going back to the key difference between the time series and time parallel methods the way of decision making visualizes or sees the data whether in a time series way or in a parallel way accordingly we can formulate two theories around decision making now let us move a little further the time series analysis theory is around probability and statistics which is in other words called parametric model it is parametric because the analysis uses probability and statistical parameters such as mean variance covariance etc in building information and creating knowledge some time series analysis tools are fourier transform wavelet transform auto regression moving average and so on and the special analysis is around a theory which is called parallel processing theory learning theory comes under parallel processing this method is called non parametric model some learning algorithms are supervised learning algorithm unsupervised learning algorithm and so on one thing that is also important here is that once the decision is made the output can be treated as data which can be used later in order to make decision in future the two decision making theories that distinctly use either temporal data or spatial data along with one or more approaches inheriting artificial intelligence capability can be built into an algorithm in terms of a program or code which can be stored and executed using a computer chip we can say this chip as ai chip let me summarize the way we started at the beginning artificial intelligence or ai is an algorithm that facilitates decision making capability in other words decision making plays vital role in ai here is transdisciplinary and critical thinking touches to introductory video on artificial intelligence and decision making professionals gather data through experience experience has two dimension duration and number of events attended or observed the number of events that a professional attends during a fixed period of time may vary by attending the events a professional gather data utilizing data she or he builds information which eventually creates knowledge for him or her with knowledge he or she then makes decision this is the reason why we say knowledge is power if we would like to make a decision we should be knowledgeable if you would like to be knowledgeable and eventually make good decision never ever scale down attending events 